I write for, I write fiction. In real life, I'm kind of someone who gets too intimidated to so much as, like, smile at, uh, at a woman who is around my own age. I don't care what fucked up shit you write. I don't care what what comments or criticisms you have. And I know that saying this to to haters to trolls is going to be interpreted as a challenge. Guys I'm going to say this Quite sincerely, it is not worth getting yourselves arrested, writing fiction, trying to shock me. Because I'm not going to read your fiction. I am not going to read your reviews. If you keep sending me emails, I'm just going to block them. Or maybe I'm just going to mute them, but have them stored in a separate archive, so that when the police need evidence as to your fucked up shit, they'll have it. Um, there are no fucks that I have to give about what you think of what I write, and no fucks that I have to give about what you write about me or about my fiction. If you want to write fanfic or hate fic or whatever, Go ahead! And if you are stupid enough to try to make a best-selling novel out of stealing my copyright, then great, do the hard work for me. I'll sue your ass. It's... I know that people are going to interpret this as a challenge. I know they are, and that's sad and pathetic, but here I am just, just like, I have explained this stuff and how I write it because I feel like writing it, because it appeals to me, and I know that, that like, that because I am someone who is weird on the internet that people disagree with, that they are going to go out of their way to try to provoke a reaction from me. I don't care. I know that that means you're going to go like really, really hard to provoke a reaction from me because you're small and you're pathetic. Right? I know that means you're going to try because it's predictable fucking behaviour. But, guys, there is nothing you can do to me that will ever amount to even a smidgen of how hurt I felt when my own friends turned against me. Right. And I know then that what you're going to do then is you're, you're going to target and you're going to say, OK, what bullshit can we do? What shit can we write to make sure that, pe that, that they go out? You're going to try making forgeries. You're going to try doing this. You're going to try doing that. And get a life. Get a fucking life. And I'm saying that as the guy who is writing who is writing fiction about fucking Mary Sue char characters who who walk in and bloody get everything and do everything perfect and get everything right and get the hot chicks and right I know my life I know what I am and I'm telling you you're not even that right your obsession with me is not healthy it's just not. Go outside. Eat a well-prepared meal. 
You know, say hello to a girl, say hello to a boy. Like I don't say, just, just, just live. Stop obsessing over someone on the internet because you disagree with them and you think they look funny and you think they sound funny, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna notice you. I'm not, I'm not gonna reply to your emails. I'm not gonna reply to your comments. I'm not gonna give a shit. I write because I want to write and I publish it in case people want to read it. And if they don't want to read it, they don't have to read it. And if you want to waste time and effort doing all this stupid shit trying to catch my attention and make me react, then that's your own fucking neurotic condition that you need to go talk with talk out with a fucking counsellor because I am nowhere near qualified enough to help you solve your shit and frankly it's not my fucking problem. The fact that you are fucked up isn't my issue. I write because I want to. I don't care what people think because I've already had people I love and respect turn around and effectively call me the devil for what I write. At this point, right, there are, there are things I won't write, but those are things I won't write because I don't want to write them. Because I don't feel comfortable writing them. There is nothing that I won't write because, ah, well, somebody else won't want me writing it. My writing is what I write for me, is what I do for me. And I know that this is hard for people, for my trolls to understand because, because 4chan has this odd culture of, of everybody feeling like they are independent, like nobody cares for them, like, like they have to be, like, like, like all they do is do stuff for themselves and they, they, they don't care, nobody cares about them and all this stuff, but when it comes right down to it, they act to, they, they do stuff because they want to impress each other. And ultimately, that's what this is about, isn't it? You're not calling yourselves esoteric Johannists because you give a shit about me. You're calling yourselves esoteric Johannists because you want to be able to identify yourselves to each other. When you do all of your, all of your, you know, stupid little jokes about me, you are calling out to each other saying, Hey, knows me, knows me, yeah, yeah, we're all in this, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Guys, if your social life depends on bullying someone on the internet, you don't have a social life. You've joined a cult, and it's not a good one, right? Cults are not healthy. All right? They're not. They exploit a sense of community for other ideals. I mean, for God's sake, Millennial Woes talks about this. He explicitly talks about, about using and exploiting a sense of, of, of cult and of family to get people to believe racist ideas. Because after talking about all this bullshit about how he's going to create the perfect debating machine, he then basically goes on to say he doesn't give a shit about the debating truths of the matter. He just doesn't like brown people. He's just a racist fuckwit. Now, if you are a racist fuckwit, obviously there, there, there probably isn't much help, uh, hope of reforming you, um, because if you haven't fucking grasped that, you know, the people who look different are actually also people and it doesn't fucking matter that they look different, then, uh, you know, 
If you can't grasp that people are people regardless of what fucking colour they are, you're gonna have a bit of difficulty dealing with me. But if you are someone who is just hanging around with these people because, yay, it's a cult and dank memes and all of that, right? Find something better to do. You know? Heck, watch anime! I mean, I don't watch it, but fuck it, you go ahead if you want to. I mean, you all seem to be into that kind of fucked up shit. I mean, that, that's not to say that anime doesn't have some, you know, decent stuff in it. I'm just saying it's not for me and, you know, I know enough to know that there is some fucked up shit in anime, even if I'm not interested in even the not fucked up shit of anime. Um, go... Find things that you're interested in about pop culture or whatever, you know. There is a reason that I talk so fucking much about Doctor Who or the Discworld or Red Dwarf, right? Because it offers a topic around which you can make friends because if the conversation falters you can refer back to quotes or trivia or or discussions in the in the thing associated with what you know and this other person knows it's like it's like you suddenly have this this different language to communicate with that you can fall back on now, I have grown beyond needing to use Doctor Who as a crutch. But if you are if you are following my videos because you want to find the latest way to take the piss and compete with your peers about who can get a reaction from me, then guys, you're not even at the level of an autistic boy who is relying on Doctor Who to talk to people. You are at a level far, far below. So, you know, man up, get a life, and actually talk to people about your fucking interests, and have interests that don't involve trying to stalk someone on the internet, because Guys, that isn't going to help you get a fucking girlfriend. And and if it does help you get a girlfriend, then guess what? You have succeeded in getting someone who is who stalks people. That isn't healthy. That's that's not exactly a win or a victory. Oh, yay. I have succeeded in 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 dating someone who also stalks someone on the internet. That's totally going to be a healthy fucking relationship. Guys. Just. Please. For yourselves. Stop thinking that I am going to care what stupid juvenile shit you pull. I am not some fucking game for you to play. I am not some piece of entertainment. I write stuff because I feel like it. If you disagree, if you have criticisms, if you want to write an essay in response, if you want to write a fan deck about it or about me, I don't care. I'm not reading it, I'm not watching it, I'm not listening to it, I am not paying the slightest fucking bit of attention to it. And I know you ain't gonna fucking stop, but that ain't my fucking problem, buddy. It's yours. Your obsession is your problem, it is not mine. Goodbye. Thank you for watching my main channel. Please remember to leave a like, favourite and comment. Shout out to the Dislike Club. Subscribe if you like what you saw and share if you know someone who might be interested in the contents of this video. 
If you would like to help ensure more videos get made, there are a few options available to you. You can whitelist this channel in your Adblock software to ensure what ad revenue you provide has a chance of making its way to me. If you sign up to make a regular monthly donation through my Patreon, then you will get to watch a selection of videos ex available exclusively to my Patreon supporters over at my Patreon page. One of donations are payable through PayPal, or if that doesn't suit your sensibilities, you can gift items through Steam or Amazon via my public wish lists. Obviously, I don't expect anything, and the vast majority of my videos will remain free and ad-supported. All that remains is to say Trump should be impeached, the genocidal must be stopped, and institute universal basic income now.